Welcome to the funeral program site. Home of the largest selection of DIY templates, printed memorials, and personalized and loving memory keepsake products. In today's video, we will discuss the top 5 mistakes to avoid when planning a funeral service. But before we get started, please take a moment to join our growing YouTube family of subscribers. Doing so will enable us to continue making useful content during a time of loss. Every funeral varies in the type of style, length, and theme. Most services, however, do follow a similar funeral planning checklist. Selecting a casket or cremation urn, getting flowers, and choosing the burial plot are more of the similarities every service needs to decide. There are also many common mistakes people make during this funeral planning process that should be brought to mind, which may be equally as important as the selection process. In the 48 hours following a loved one's death, your family will have to make more than 70 decisions depending on the type of service you decide to hold. There will be many things to consider, decisions to make on top of emotions running high, so it is natural to make a mistake or overlook items. One advantage to pre-planning a funeral is the peace of mind knowing that everything is taken care of. The decisions and selections were made with a more stable emotion and clear mind. If you are able to pre-plan or prepare ahead for a service, it is highly recommend you do so. Let's take a look at the top 5 mistakes most people may overlook when in the midst of funeral planning. Number 1. Waiting for death to become imminent. Let's face it, funeral planning isn't on our radar until a loved one has a terminal illness or is expected to die soon. It is not easy to think about such things, but by doing so it can alleviate much stress after a death. By pre-planning a funeral before any diagnosis, your family will not have to worry about this later on. Number 2. Not communicating with your family. If you are planning your own funeral, it is important to talk about the arrangements with your immediate family, first and foremost. Not only should your loved ones be made aware of your plans, but they should also know who to contact when a death occurs. It's also important to listen to their input and make sure that the service you plan will help provide them with the closure they'll need afterward. Then discuss the arrangements with a funeral director. Number 3. Failing to clarify your final wishes. When you do meet with the funeral director to begin the arrangements, make sure that they understand everything you want the service to include. There are many options to consider so it's very important to discuss everything with your funeral director. If you are in an emotional state, bring a friend or family member to help you with any decisions. You can also make notes prior to the meeting as you remember them and provide that to your funeral director. Number 4. Failure to ask questions. A common funeral planning mistake is going on the assumption or being afraid to ask questions. If you're unsure about anything, your funeral director is more than happy to clarify things. Jot questions down as you are thinking about them prior to meeting with the funeral director. This is extremely helpful in remembering questions. Writing them down eliminates the need to recall them from memory. Number 5. Not sticking to a budget. When people wait till the loved one has passed away to make funeral arrangements, they often end up overspending. Partly due to the high emotions they are currently experiencing. For many people, they end up selecting more expensive items and services because that's what their loved one would have wanted or deserved. By pre-planning a funeral service, you can set a budget and avoid emotional overspending. Thanks for watching and staying with us for another informative video series. We'll see you next time in another round of funeral-related videos only here at the funeralprogramsite.com.